Hello everyone. Welcome to topic of the day. Today we will discuss the S400 air defense system. Now recently Russia has started supplying the S400 air defense system to India of which the first division will be delivered by the end of 2021. Now let us talk a bit about the deal. In 2018 India signed a dollar 5.43 billion deal with Russia for procuring 5 S400 regiments for Indian Air Force. Now this was important because S400 is already available with China and it has deployed it along the line of actual control in the eastern region of Ladakh. Now what is S400? It is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed in 1990s by Russia. And actually it is Russia's most advanced long-range air defense system. It is capable of handling all sorts of aerial attacks including drones, missiles, rockets and even fighter jets it operates with maximum target speed of 4.8 km per second and it is equipped with four types of missiles first is the short range that is up to 40 km medium range up to 120 km the long range which is 250 km and the very long range which is up to 400 km and simultaneously track up to 160 objects in a 600 km range now why has india bought them First is to fulfill the important gaps in India's national air defense network and complement India's indigenous ballistic missile defense system. Now ballistic missile is the one that follows a ballistic trajectory and it is rocket propelled self guided weapon. Secondly, to tackle the growing two front threat from China and Pakistan and countering China in the Indo-Pacific region. Also the S400 is advantageous as compared to the American MIM 104 Patriot system. which is again an air defense system now let us discuss some possible implications of this deal on india the first is the us concerns that is us can impose the katsa act countering america's adversaries through sanctions act now katsa is a us federal law that bars significant military transactions from russia this bill came into effect in 2017 in response to russia's annexation of crimea in 2014 Now sanctions are already imposed on Iran, Russia and North Korea and recently in January 2021 it was also imposed on Turkey for the purchase of S400. However, India is expecting a waiver from the Katsa Act as we have made this deal considering the national security considerations. Now some other concerns of United States is that Russia is the largest defense partner and largest supplier of arms to India. Other similar missile systems include the terminal high altitude area defense of the united states and the iron dome of israel now if we talk about the india russia defense ties there is around dollar 15 billion defense exchange in the last 3 years between india and russia which also involves few big pending deals including utility helicopters assault rifles igla s very short range air defense system we also have some russian origin very famous weapons in india first one is the brahmos cruise missile MiG 21, 27 and 29 fighter jets and the Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jet MI series of helicopters and the Vikramaditya aircraft carrier conclusion now India and the United States have a comprehensive global strategic partnership and has a special and privileged strategic partnership with Russia India opts for independent foreign policy and the same apply to the defense acquisition we can conclude that the S400 will provide India with both offensive and defensive strategy now let us take up a practice question on this topic which of the following countries has been sanctioned under the katsa act of united states russia turkey north korea and iran you have to choose from the correct option so the correct answer is d that is all these countries russia turkey north korea and iran have been sanctioned under the katsa act now this is all for today and do stay tuned for more such videos Thank <laughs> you.